Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series in 119. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Oh man, I'm so happy that you guys are here for episode 2. If you didn't catch episode 1, go back, check it out. We built a bunch of cool stuff here in this brand new world in the wild update. Or the horror update, like we mentioned in the last episode. We almost died a couple times. We'll be just fine. Don't you worry. But in the last episode, we built this awesome little starter crop field. We met our beautiful friend over here that I did name. Name. And I'm gonna show you what that name is in a second. Hi, we ended up building some really awesome custom trees over here Set up a nice little path here at the bottom more custom trees over here a nice little well and our starter house That's right. That's a starter house. That's how we do it around here But today we have a lot of things we need to take care of number one is to ensure our survival I'm gonna need more crops I'm gonna need to collect these friends of ours and make a nice barn for them so we can have infinite amount of food and leather and wool because apparently the only way I'm gonna survive in the deep dark from here on in is taking a bunch of wool <laughs> Thank you all so much for all the suggestions in the last episode that totally helped me not be as anxious anymore going down below I'm still gonna be anxious. It's gonna be very very terrifying But I can get by a little easier now knowing we have ways around those skulk sensors But it's time we name our beautiful kitty cat friend over here and thank you all so much for all the amazing name suggestions But I had to go with this one everybody say hello right now in the comment section to count Whiskers Von Fluffington <laughs> Whiskers for short, but thank you so much for crafty a flamingo girl for that suggestion You had a bunch of other ones. It was hard to choose but that one. Oh, so good. What's up whiskers? <laughs> but before we do anything else I have a mess to clear up and I do need to collect some materials So why don't we just chop down all these trees right now? Let's go I love that every time done chopping trees and if you didn't know early game chopping with unenchanted iron tools on mangrove trees is one of the single most frustrating longest lasting tasks humanly possible in this game I would like to say Mojang you disrespected me and I feel very hurt by how hard it is to uh, collect mangrove stuff but you know what we got to do it because it's so pretty and we got a visit from our friend our first visit from the wandering trader and he's come perfectly uh, in time for uh, collecting leads. Thank you so much. But you know what? Usually in other series, in other seasons, I would murder you all in cold blood. All three of you. Uh-huh, that's right. But this time, you know what? Better not spit on me. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do it respectfully with a boat. That's right. But not a chest boat. They don't deserve a whole beautiful chest boat. I'm going to do it with a nice mangrove boat, though. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you for the lead. Yes, I'm being kind this season. Don't ask me why. Oh, get in. Give me this lead. Thank you so much. You are so nice. I will spare you on this fine day. So you guys are free to roam. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Goodbye. Or you can stay if you like. Either way, to be honest, I'm probably a better owner than he is. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I didn't, you didn't hear nothing. For now, I'm throwing all my junk over here. Well, not really junk. This is very valuable stuff. Look at all that material gathering. Oh, so good. We got this up here. And we got a bunch more over here and here. Look at all this. And yes, I did complete my chest room like I said I was in the last episode. And there it is. Look how pretty and lovely. But I uh, haven't stocked it up yet. But that's coming. I'm definitely going to be organized this season. I promise. Now, the next order of business is to get these guys in a safe place for collecting later on after we build our barn up. So for now, I'm just going to gather some wheat. I'm going to actually use the mangrove roots. I have so many of these. I don't think I'm going to use them much. I got some gates. Let's get a couple slabs there. And don't worry, Whiskers, I will find a name tag soon, hopefully, okay? And then I'll name you, like, for real this time. So I'm thinking about putting our barn right here in this side, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna go right down in this section and make a very starter-looking pen. And here we go. Super starter-worthy, just a little holding cell. Come on, friends, let's go, all of you. Come on down. You guys can share for now. Nice single file, very nice. Hello, sheepies, come on, I need you. What are we doing? I got a lead. This will be a lot easier, let's go. All right, this is a good start. Make the babies. Thank you so much. Yes! All right, I'll be back, friends. Now, I'm running pretty low on iron right now, so I think we need to go ahead and do a little bit of mining just to be safe. I really only have 13 left. Make another axe because this one's about to go. I'm also going to make another hoe because mine <laughs> was exploded upon when I was collecting all that mangrove. And let's set up a couple more torches, and we got enough sticks to last us. Now, I just want to do a little exploring over here on this side. I see a lot of cave openings, so maybe we could find something pretty cool. Maybe some easy iron <laughs> would be really nice. There we go. Some iron right here. And a deep pit of death. Okay. 
cool. I'm not gonna MLG that. No, I could make that jump. <laughs> no, should I do it? No, no, I don't want to. I, I can do this jump. I can do this jump. That's a good jump. I can do that one. You do this one. And that's that's it. No more adventure. Let's just let's just let's just be safe, okay? We don't need to be risky at all in episode two, even though I kind of risk a lot in episode one. We're gonna be fine. Do a quick light job. As long as I don't see any skulk blocks, I think we could do this. I do see some iron close by though. Let's grab it. Let's also grab a little bit of this coal. 25 iron, that's not bad actually for a quick little run here to this cave. This should do us nicely for right now. Oh, look how cute our house looks from here. Oh, it's so lovely. And let's actually use our house to smelt stuff. Functional kitchen hype, let's go. Now, will we cook this up? Oh, I need a crafting bench here. Eh, this'll do. Now, while we cook this up, I'm gonna make some ladders over here. There's gonna be a temporary mine, but for right now, I think it will do. I'm gonna go ahead and just dig down these three all the way down as far as I can go before my pickaxes break. And then we'll set up a little bit of a ladder system to go up. I am gonna do a bubble column later on, but uh, for right now, this is the easiest way to do it without going into the nether. And every once in a while, I'll just poke some holes on the side and then put some lights there. Oh, hi, just making some fresh pickaxes because I found something pretty cool Cool. at diamond level. Let me show you. I'm so excited. Oh my god, watch this. Still can't really access this one yet. There is a water drop, but I'm scared. So I'm just gonna go the old school way with this ladder. Takes a very long time to get down here, but eh, safer. Any day now. Yep, um, it's fine. We're almost there. It's worth the wait. Because check this out. Right here, broke a couple blocks and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of diamonds right down here. Oh baby, I uh, have no fortune and no way to get it at the moment. So we're gonna have to do this. Oh baby, let's go. We'll just break it all right now, it's fine. Don't worry, we will find plenty more. At least for right now, we can make a couple cool things. Like a pickaxe, an enchanting table, and we'll save the rest. And this is just gonna be our diamond mine, really. We're not gonna have a legit one that drops at every level like that just to get every single ore type. This is just a diamond mine. We'll make a legit, really cool mine that goes to every level later on. And for right now, I'm gonna make this a little bit prettier and we can set up some kind of strip mine. Now there's a couple ways that I can set up this strip mine. One way would be the efficient way, which technically would be every two, right? We would do something like this. Have a strip going down here, skip two, a strip going down this way. The reason why people do this is because if you catch something on this side, you would technically would have caught it on that side. So one block of space difference between the next row of your strip mine or branch mine, whatever you want to call it. And being down here at bedrock level, it's the perfect spot for diamonds. Anywhere from negative 59 to negative 56 is good spots, but I usually like going all the way down here so you can see the bedrock. But are we gonna do it efficiently? No, we're skipping efficiency and we're going with aesthetics. I'm gonna space it like this. Is there a possibility I might miss some in that little gap in between right here because I don't mine it on both sides? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. I want to make this place look pretty. So we're doing it this way. But Sausage, you're going to miss out on diamonds. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be okay. Trust me. Now I carved this place out. I think it's looking pretty good. We can do a nice vaulted ceiling up here. A nice space. I don't think we need more than this for right now, at least for this area. I got a really cool idea of just bringing in some of this lovely mangrove wood and put it as pillars in between. And then once those are stripped down, I'm gonna put some upside down stairs here, of some deep slate in between every gap. Then after that, we're gonna go inside here and add some packed mud blocks all the way down. Oh, that's looking fancy already. And now we're gonna work on a cool vaulted ceiling. So I'm gonna be using some of the polished deep slate here and we're gonna go up one slab at a time on every corner bit from here and there it is all set up all the way around just slabs going up and down giving you this cool vault look now for the inside layer, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a mix of the copper block right here a little bit of the spruce slab going like so then mixing it in with a little bit of the jungle just like this if I do this all the way around with a nice little bit of a mix like so it's gonna look pretty cool it's gonna give a nice gradient to it. And of course, all this goes up a slab at a time. And then at the end, it should look like this, which is pretty awesome. Now, one of the last steps, we're gonna do a little bit of a chandelier here. So I'm adding a polished deep slate wall. I'm gonna bring in some mangrove and go down like so. And then I'm just gonna yoink some of these lanterns that are on the floor. 
and we're just gonna hang these down right here on this chandelier and look at that that looks so cool now it's a little dark on these so i'm gonna go ahead and put a light on this side a light on this side i don't have enough lanterns to put it on top of all of these here so that'll do for now the floor doesn't look too pretty right now but i'm thinking if we bring a little bit of moss down here spread it out a little we get a nice color contrast and just like that we have a nice little diamond mine this is pretty cool this is a little starter version of what i got in mind i want to do something really really special in our dwarven area but this is really really nice i like this but you know we have to test this out just to be sure it's effective and we get some good diamonds out of it so i got two stacks of torches and a couple iron pickaxes let's see what runs out first <laughs> the pickaxes or the torches but i'm gonna go ahead and pick a row let's go down this one i'm gonna go all the way down and see what we could get um why why i'm underground no no please i'm underground i'm underground how can the thing there's a sensor over there that caught me there's a sensor over there oh my god is the one gonna come out i think that's the third time oh um oh no that is horrible that was scary and i don't appreciate it um but because it's almost dead anyways and i haven't found a single diamond this has been nothing but the worst experience and it had to end with that okay you know what i'm just gonna get out of here i don't i don't, I don't know how many limits it is if the game remembers that i uh, uh, unleash three screen well was it two screechers last time i don't know what's the time limit or something um if a water starts coming down this hallway right now i'm done okay i'm i'm good uh we, we tested it enough we have enough uh, diamonds to do enchanting tables and pickaxes and stuff. i'm just gonna leave okay bye goodbye oh no bye bye this room is pretty though uh, i should put a sign to remind myself uh warden that way okay this is, this is good I'm, I'm leaving okay goodbye oh wrong way now let's do some breathing Oh, a lot more relaxing than running in downstairs. You guys are doing great. And now some more relaxing stuff. How about we do some croppage? Ah, farming is so much more relaxing than caving, especially with what just happened to us. You know what? I've never done a gradient-like crop field here. Let's see. We got wheat here in the front. Get some carrots in here on this section. And then potatoes. Gradient farming. Who would have thought? Oh, no. My aesthetic grass. Oh, I love aesthetic grass in a crop field. It's so nice. There it is. Let the thing grow up. Hey, whiskers, baby. Meow. And is this some more sugar cane? And see if we can set more of a checkerboardy pattern to this. It's a little bit better in efficiency. Oh, there we go. It's a nice little checkerboardy pattern. Oh, wait. Now it's a nice checkerboardy pattern. Let's drop some sugar cane. Oh, that's a lot better there. We can get a lot more sugar cane. It's going to keep expanding over time. We're going to have a huge sugar cane crop field. You'll see. I really should move this stuff inside, huh? Yeah, we'll do it soon, I promise. Oh, God, it's really, really bad right now. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let me organize a little, then we can build some stuff. That took forever. But we're done uh, for now. Uh, this is as uh, clean as I can do it. Oh, oh, this is a little messy. Either way, it's all pretty much organized right here. Check that out. Even birds. Look at that. Even Birch has a home with me here. We got dirt, a little bit of moss block. We got all of our twig and berries tray. I don't even know what that is. Uh, mob drops, sort of. Mud, obsidian, all of our deep slate bits. I uh, left a bunch downstairs, but I'll go get them later. Copper bits. I also have some downstairs. Uh, it's fine. This is organized for now, and uh, it's looking good. These are our valuables, and the most valuable thing, the wooden pickaxe. Everything looks to be in order. I got rid of all the junk that I had over here. And all the chests down below are completely cleared of everything that we had. Ain't that right, Whiskers? Are you proud of me? Hello? There you go. <laughs> Whiskers is proud of me. Let's do one more breed job. You're welcome. And there's one thing that I really want to try out. In the comments of episode one, you guys were telling me an easier way to get the goat horn. All I'm going to need is an armor stand. And if all else fails, I got a lead. Gonna bring that goat over here for experiments. <laughs> Let's see if we can go find that goat again. I think they were this way past the village. Wait, how did you escape, unbreaking boy? Huh? Oh, probably up there. Carry on. You'll be fine. <laughs> Oh no, another one escaped. Oh, it's okay. You guys will be fine. You guys will take care of each other. Don't get. I remember you from last time. How you been? And we're off. Oh yeah, that's the goat's home. Oh, these guys are here. <laughs> Hello there. How are you? What are you trading? 
Useless stuff. Wouldn't mind some more leads, to be honest. Yup. Guess you get the honor of a nice chess boat. Thank you. And not you again. I know it's a beautiful chess boat, but come on now. Wait, 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 wait. I still got a lead. I still got a lead that I need. Stop. Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, they know they're getting robbed. Not you. That looks cute, though. Uh-huh. Exactly. Give me my chess boat back, you thief. Even though I'm the one stealing. Can you stop it? Hello. Give me that lead this instant. Yup. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, where's my goat friend? You must have not gotten too far. Goat, I have a binocular now. I can find you. Oh, you're up here by this section. Hi, you remember me? Don't you hit me yet. I gotta test something out. So if I put this, let's say, here. All right, okay, okay, okay. Right here, okay, stand right there. Okay, perfect. Now ram this, th oh, you legend. Okay, hello, oh no. Ow, no, come to my testing facility. Hello, he just hit it. He just hit it, but nothing came out. You just hit it. That didn't work. Yes. Okay, he hit it, but no goat horn. Okay, that's confirmation that I was lied to by somebody who said the, the thing would work. You guys saw it. Video evidence, armor stand did not work. I'm gonna take this goat back with me. We're gonna do some science experiments later in the comment section. You guys better not lie to me again. I'm telling you right now. Oh, can I just get this? Thank you. Goat, you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. I'm building a barn. You can live in it while we figure this out. And since they are going to be living with us for experimental purposes only, really, I'm going to need a name for this goat. Go ahead. Do your best. Leave my goat in the comment section. We will figure this out, friend. We will figure this out. Come with me. Um, we're going to have to do this a different way because I have a chest boat. Um, so technically, you're going to just water ski if that's okay. Yeah, that's cool. You've done it before. Oh, I didn't know. What a renaissance goat. You've done so many things with your life. So we're going to do this. And you're going to water ski. Perfect. Ah, the goat. No, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Let's get home. Oh, this is amazing. You're having fun back there. Oh, look at those llamas. They're like, I wish I had that goat's life. Don't worry. We're not too far away from home. We're going to make it soon enough. And we can always come back here and do some more water skiing. <laughs> All right, we made it. Let's go. Say hi to the donkey. What? Bring the donkey with us? Okay, fine. Why not? You want to come home with us? Let's go. Now you're part of the family, friend. All right, friends. We're almost here. Check this out. This is going to be your roommates when I build the barn. Okay, it's going to be an ultimate barn. It's going to be plenty of space for all you guys. So don't you worry about a thing. I just need uh, to put you on this tree for now uh, so I can lead you up. Come on. You know what? This donkey's family, too. Name my donkey friend as well. Now it's time to prep, gather some materials because we need to build ourselves a nice little animal pen. An ultimate barn. Something that all of our animal friends can hang out in at the same time. Now, one of the most important steps into building a cool house is to lay down a cool foundation. I'm thinking we start right over here in this nice little clear space, start lifting up some blocks. So I'm thinking we'll start right here with a nice entrance, a little three wide boy right there. I just noticed I have no pickaxe. So we're gonna have a nice little front door here. It's gonna have multiple entrances too in different areas, which is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna turn this corner right here and take it all the way down about like that for now. I want to do a little outside stable right here, so I'm going to probably put it right up against the wall, a little beam here, give it a three wide space, another beam, three wide space, another beam there. And then from here, we turn this corner. I'm thinking that 11 wide will be perfect, and then we just come back down this direction. Thinking about doing another pop out like we have over there, but not as big. Maybe just a three, and then turn it inwards here. And then that's perfectly lined up to that side, but I want to take it in one more maybe go down another three there take it all the way back down here and then turn this corner th oh not there turn this corner right here over here i'm thinking we're going by one and we also go in by one on this side take it out by seven and then turn and then for this side we even have an entrance that can in right about there and this could be a separate pen over here we could even do another pop out here, pretty much around the same section. So one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, and five. Take this and bring it all the way down. And then we just take this all the way down here to the bottom and we're gonna fill that in. But that's it. We got it ready to go. <laughs> Let's just build this up and give it some nice details.
I absolutely love this animal pen. This awesome ultimate animal pen is looking so good. My friends here are hanging out. They watched me do it the whole time. That's right, excitement. And I left the armor stand there for my coat friend to play with. But I love this animal pen. What do you guys think? Rate it right now. One out of 10 sausages this instant. One being sausage. Stop building animal pen barns. Uh, build something else. Or 10 sausages, my own being, oh. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Look at this little gradient that I did over here with some dark oak, a little bit of mud block, a little bit of the mud root. Oh, so good. The stables are all set up. I have some overhangs there on the inside. I'm waiting for this to completely change color on the top. Uh, and then I'm gonna kind of strip some of it and I need some wax. We gotta get some bees set up very soon because I wanna do a lot of gradients with that copper. The roof lining is looking so good. We added the mangrove there on the inside bit, the deep state on the outside and it's looking so nice. I love also this little bit of packed mud we added here to this section. It complements it so nicely with the deep slate at the bottom, right? Look at that. We even have a little bit of window action there on the side. Yes, in the back, there's not much to look at. Uh, later on, I might add some more details, but for right now, uh, the best I could do is give it a little bit of trim here with dark oak trap doors, little overhang bits there on the windowsills, and then some uh, bush boxes there on the outside pit. Oh no, I need to sleep, but check this out. We got a little chicken coop ready to go right in here. On the inside, we don't have much. I'm gonna start detailing the floors, but we got a little bit of storage here on the side. This part right here takes us to the little other storage section that goes upstairs to more storage, but then we have a lovely little cross over here a little hayloft on the top and this kind of overhangs our cow pen over here on this side and we can do some parkour in this uh over here on this uh section <laughs> but it's a little dark in here right? it's a little moody but over here we had a little furnace array so we could cook some of the food over here and more stores on the side and then i added just a more a little bit of foliage on the top there just to break it up because it was so simple uh, and i want to hang some flower pots on these chains but for right now i have uh, no more clay uh, but that's fine i need to add more light though um we put that there for now. Let's sleep. Now, before the animals move in, we gotta do one more thing. A little bit of terraforming here at the bottom, just to get some path blocks going over here. And give you a nice little bit of a, a, a way through that you think most people will be walking to. So whenever I do these paths, I wanna just make sure we curve it a little bit, add uh, some nice little bit of detail here, and then just make it look natural. So here, that you would think, from this section, somebody will go into this little horse stable, or, sorry, donkey stable and goat stable. Uh, I'm gonna add a horse stable on too. I might do a really big horse stable later, but this is gonna be another path going this way, kind of curving into that section, and then this continues and goes all the way in here to the main area. <gasps> no, thank you, no thank you, goodbye. I thought I lit that up good. What are you doing inside there? I guess I didn't light it up good, that's fine. It's okay, you don't match for me. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Show up, kitty, show up, kitty. That's right, you're not gonna do nothing with my friend over here. You're not gonna do nothing. That's right, that's my friend Whiskers. Good job, Whiskers. They're gone now. Let me finish them off. Hey, you running away? Don't you run from us! Oh! Um, I think so. And just a little bit more details later, it is looking so much better. I added a couple of these extra baby redwood mangrove hybrid things. I also bowled me a couple of azaleas there just for some background stuff. Added some bushes, a little bit of flower action, some moss. Also on the inside, it is looking so, so good. Check that out. <laughs> this is looking awesome. Now the only thing left to do is bring our friends over. Let's go. Come with me. Welcome to your new palace, friends. Come on down, right over here. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Here, have some food. You too, friend. I don't think you love me enough yet. Oh, come on, I just gave you a brand new home. What is this? Oh, that was nice. Okay, you're just playing hard to get, that's fine. You got a good amount of hearts, though. And now for the chickens. I got a couple of eggs, let's see if this works. One. Chicken. Did you bring that rain chicken? Oh no, I found her lightning. Oh no, okay, hold on, I'm gonna make a daytime. All right, rain, get out of here. All right, friends, let's get on out of here and go on home. Now our temporary animal pen is all gone. And we have a ton of friends over here. We got some chickens. Oh, give me those eggs. We got a bunch of cows. And our sheep situation is looking awesome. I just need to do one quick thing. 33 wool. That sounds pretty good. And with this 33 wool, we have ways we can go in the deep dark and potentially survive without having any issues. And I noticed a spot that we could check out as well. Just a little ways down below, right about here. Yep, this would be the spot. 
This is a crazy cave system. Uh, I haven't explored. I just stopped right about here. But I did see some crazy stuff right about there. What do you say we explore that first thing in the next episode? See you then. Oh, <laughs> that looks spooky. <laughs>